This one uh, is one of mine. This kind of work belongs on walls. Ricky Sears, Adam Kruger. But Dan Drossman took paintings down to keep them safe. These works here uh, are basically the leftovers of the show that we had. In late February, Dan turned hallways of a Denver office building into a gallery. Yeah, these are so beautiful. <laughs> featuring artists like Jill Alexander. I think a lot of people were excited about it. Jill shared four paintings of Cuba she created while caring for her mom. My mom, uh, several years ago, was diagnosed with um, a form of leukemia. We spent many hours uh, you know, watching television together because that's all she really could do. And I would paint and she'd say, let me see it now, you know. The paintings first hung in her mother's room. When she she passed away, I mean, I still had them up. I actually took them off the wall to send them to the show. So I really didn't want to sell them. She shared them for the show yeah. that was stolen by a stranger. All black, some gloves, some cool looking shades. His white, white teeth just are ingrained in my mind right now. His smile, his grin. Yeah. Dan says the man in black stuffed eight paintings into a duffel bag, including Jill's. If there's a better word for devastating, you know, that's what it is. I could sit here today and I could remake the paintings, but I could never get back those paintings. Whatever these paintings are worth to a thief. That's the hardest part. An artist values them much more. I don't want to see anything bad happen to this person. I just want them back. Noel Brennan, 9 News. Denver police have a detective assigned to the case. No arrests have been made. If you recognize the thief or you see the stolen artwork, please give police a call.